Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. No bonsai work today, but I had a busy day, so I'll show you what was going on in the bonsai zone today. Yesterday was cold, windy, and rainy, and today it's just a beautiful day. T-shirt weather once again. I'm heading out today to get the fourth load of horse manure. The uh, farm where Vivian keeps her horses, it's been sold and you can see the subdivisions in the background and they're just gonna plow the whole thing under and it's gonna be built up. The pile of horse manure out there is three years old, so there's, there's quite a bit. Um, so she's gotta be out at the end of June, so she said come out every day until the pile's gone, so. We can use that good compost in our backyard for, we're gonna make an edible forest back there. It's gonna be really nice. So every bit of organic matter like that is just invaluable. I made four stakes here to mark out the location of the concrete pad for the greenhouse. So I'll be putting those in today to lay out the location. My poor trees are still stuck in the plant room. We've been going down to freezing every night this week, or slightly below freezing. And tonight is the first time it's going down to plus one, one degree above freezing. It's trending in the right direction, but it's still pretty cold at night, so they definitely can't go out on the benches yet. The ducks and the geese and the chickens are sure enjoying their outdoor time today. Beautiful weather. I'm not totally wasting this beautiful day on my tropicals. I brought out a selection of trees and put them in the greenhouse. I've got it all filled with my tropicals. So they'll have to come back in at night. It's still too cold to leave them out in the greenhouse, even if I put the heat on. Uh, with the heat on, it'll probably stay around five degrees Celsius, which is still a little cool. They're better to bring them in at night than bring them back out in the morning. Until the low is kind of plus 10 degrees Celsius, then I can leave them out, which should be coming in a week or so. I checked on Elsa here and the cement was still soft. You can see the head still moves a bit. Like it's attached, but it hasn't fully hardened. And I found the waist was still, I could wiggle it a bit too. So I don't know if I got bad cement or if it's too old or what's going on, but it just didn't like gluing this together. So I'm gonna let it harden. I, I think it will eventually harden. I've just got it out here in the shade, kind of air drying. So yeah, I'll just leave that for another day. I'll give you an update on all the recent trees that I've repotted. So I've got my red maple there. You can see the twisty trunk. It's doing well, the one branch. The other branch hasn't come out into leaf, but maybe it won't, and I don't really need it anyway. My elm tree's got some strong buds at the base down there, so still waiting on that. The black locust back there is sprouting branches down near the base of the tree. All my silver maples seem to be doing really well. They're coming out into leaf now. Uh, the Ammer Maples, so far, doing well. Not real strong growth yet, but hopefully soon. All the larches that I repotted seem to be doing well. They suffered for a bit. They definitely had some setbacks. You can see a few needles are kind of dry at the tips, but they're not getting any worse and they're starting to get new shoots coming out on them. So I think they're on the rebound, which is quite exciting. The Japanese black pine that I repotted is doing really well. It, uh, nothing happened after I transplanted it. It didn't slow down in growth. Um, it looks healthy and uh, 
So I think that was a success. My water land penging here with the red maples is doing quite well. The one tree at the back here looked like it was suffering and uh, I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it, but it seems to be on the rebound now. So probably it's growing new roots down there and it's starting to gain strength. So that, that turned out nice. Uh, there's more larches here that, they're not through the woods yet. They're still, I'd say they're borderline. We'll see what happens with them. Uh, the English oaks, the royal oaks, are doing really well. Uh, you can see it got damaged by the frost here. The leaves went all crispy, but there's new shoots and buds coming out now. So it's uh, doing really well. It just uh, slowed it down a little bit, but not a whole lot. The larch forest is looking really lush and green. Just beautiful. I still have to get to these apexes, thinning them out, but uh, that'll come. I'll get to that soon. The moss has really come in. Yeah, it's looking good. The Douglas firs are doing well. Uh, there's some new shoots opening up down at the bottom here. Up top, you can see there's shoots all over the place. It's looking really healthy. You can see some of the shoots coming out on the old wood back budding. The tall one here is looking really good too. So that's kind of exciting to see them doing well. I was uh, quite worried about them last year. The Scots pine and Shanty's pot here is looking good. No problems with that. I didn't repot it, but I did, you know, a fairly good pruning on it. So that's exciting. Waiting for my new apex to grow here. This little tiny shoot will someday be the dominant leader on the tree. The apple tree beside it here is coming out into leaf nicely. Where I hard pruned it, you can see the buds each side of the new leader. They're coming out into leaf. So that's looking good. My big red maple here is coming out into leaf. Looking good. The Manitoba maples or box elder maples doing really good. Lots of nice foliage on them. My black willow coming out into leaf. I didn't prune it this year. I, uh, I'm going to let it grow, get strength, and then prune it back hard early summer, and then let, let it recover for the rest of the year. My Norway maple here, the, uh, the new leader is doing really well. You can see it's gonna push out the leaves soon. Uh, this branch is doing quite well. It's probably even stronger. It's got leaves coming out already. Yeah, doing well. The old leader that I wanted to be the leader died many times, so I'm not gonna touch it this year. I'm just gonna let it do its own thing. Every time I touch this tree, it just seems to shed whatever I want to be the leader. So I'll just leave it alone for a few years and gain strength. All the Thuja forest look terrible at this time of the year. It's when the old winter foliage is still on the tree and the new growth hasn't started. So you can see how the tips are starting to turn kind of a reddish orange color. That means they're gonna grow soon. So usually they start growing kind of the first week of June. So it's got a ways to go before the new growth comes out and then they just turn green and look beautiful. But this is still the foliage from last year. Some of it's been it's got a bit of winter kill on it, and it doesn't look very good this time of year. You can see my little cedar spirit tree here. It also is getting those kind of yellowish, reddish tips on it, ready to grow soon. My witch's tree here too. It's going to grow, which is going to be exciting. It's hard to make a video when I got this in the neighborhood.
There's an eastern redbud tree that's in flower down the street here. I just want to let you see what it looks like because it's a beautiful tree. Here's a view of the tree. So it comes into flower before it comes into leaf. Just beautiful. There's a close-up look at the seed pods right here. And there's a close-up look at the flowers. Just beautiful. So I'll take some of the seed pods and maybe we'll try growing them. I have grown some before, but I didn't get them through the winter. So we'll try again. I'll put those eastern redbud seeds in the greenhouse here. And I'll plant them a little later on. It's my Natal ficus, my Schifflera, my lemon tree, my ficus microcarpa, my Portulacaria afroforest, my other ficus microcarpa fancy, my lemon tree, my sarissa, ficus cutting of a cutting, and a ficus benjamina. This month's meeting of the Toronto Bonsai Society was on growing oak as bonsai. It was really interesting, I learned a lot, and that was hosted by David and Connor, so it was nice to hear their expertise on the subject. I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> I'm heading off now to get another load of horse manure on this fine, fine day. I'm back from getting the horse manure. So we got a full load again. Hard work shoveling it into all these bins, loading it up. So the whole back of the truck is full. We're putting a lot of the horse manure in the backyard here. We're going to create our own edible forest back here. Um, when I moved into this house 25 years ago, it was just a mowed field, all this and we let nature grow up. And a lot of the trees are just kind of pioneer trees. They're not really productive. And the soil is getting a lot better back here. We've been composting, putting, you know, bags of leaves back here in the fall, uh, wood chips, and it's building up a good layer of soil. So I think we can grow some fruit trees back here, nut trees, plant berry bushes, currants, gooseberries, um, raspberries, blackberries. Yeah, making this whole backyard kind of beautiful, but producing food. A lot of the manure is just going in a pile back here for now, and then we'll spread it out and make gardens. Laura's already started a garden here that's kind of fenced in. It's got raspberries. Uh, I think that's it. Just raspberries in here now. I'm in the greenhouse now. So the plants had a beautiful sunny day and you can tell, they're just greening up. They're going a really nice dark green color. Um, yeah, really, really liking the sun. It's incredible what sun can do for plants as opposed to artificial lighting and being indoors. Even though this is still kind of diffused lighting, at least it's... Uh, strong and it's directly on the trees. It's not shining in through a window where they get, you know, maybe an hour or two of sunlight a day. Here it's kind of from morning till dusk. We haven't had a lot of rain this spring. My cube is sitting at 150 gallons or what is that in liters? It's about Mm, just under 600 liters, I guess, somewhere around there. But it's over half full, which is kind of exciting. I still have to get the covers on these to stop algae growing inside, and I got a lot of work to do, but uh, it's exciting to have that much water stored. You know, at least it'll get us through a dry spell. Laura's got her cube partially filled too. This one's just empty because I got to move it away to work on the plant room. And I'll start work on that as soon as all the trees go outside on the benches till they, there's no more frost in the forecast and no more temperatures at one or two degrees above freezing. The sun has set now and I did end up putting all my trees away. I thought, uh, I don't think it's good for them to go down to that cooler temperature. So they're all out of the greenhouse. 
I just moved in a few trees, my Osage orange, my oaks, my Japanese black pine, and my bald cypress, if it's still alive. I don't know. There's no sign of life on it. I'm very worried about it, but what can you do? All the other trees should be fine. And we're going three degrees above zero tonight as the low, so no problem for the other trees. I didn't get time to stake out the location of the concrete pad yet, but I can do that tomorrow morning. And we still have to move. There's some gooseberry bushes here because they'll need to get a skid steer in to move the soil they'll be digging up here and move it to the backyard. So I gotta get a pathway cleared through here, wide enough for a skid steer. And we eventually wanna keep this wide enough for, to fit the pickup truck back here anyway. So, you know, this garden's eventually gonna have to be pushed over a bit. So a little bit of work to go, um, clearing this path, getting the stakes in, and then I can call the concrete people. So that'll be exciting. What a beautiful day it was today. I always seem to go to bed tired and sore, but I recover the next morning. I guess it's just part of the bonsai lifestyle. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.